trainer in urban sustainable agriculture. Today at our school, we are training the students that are soon leaving how to practice agriculture in a small area. Look at urban farming. First of all, urban farming is practicing agriculture in the city. As you know very well, land is becoming a problem in our country whereby the population is increasing but land is scarce. So we came up with a concept of urban farming whereby the future generation learns how to grow vegetables in a small area using the affordable technologies. As you will see, we have trained them how to have the to make the to raise the sack gardens, the box gardens using the tins, using the buckets. With all those different ideas, they can have food at their home, at their disposal, not waiting to have a big chunk of land. But with these prim with these technologies that we have, they can have they can grow vegetables and have what to put on their source. And also the surplus they can sell it to the market. This is our tomato seedlings, okay? So we put them on top. So you plant there. Here. Today we would like to launch an urban farming project for the high school students at Lika. And with this I would like to launch it. Reasons why we thought about coming up with uh, this urban farming project is that we have realized that uh, healthy eating is essential. So eating vegetables, having fresh juices, smoothies is very important. With the use of herbs in the teas and in the, in the food and also in the, in the smoothies is very important as they work as antibiotics, um, anti-allergies, and of course they aid as spaces. So we thought it is important if our students uh, left school when they know these, these usual skills. Okay, so urban farming is basically farming in urban areas, city areas. So we're learning to farm effectively using little space in the most beneficial way to our community. Many of us don't know how to farm, how to get a living and income on how on the ground, right? We don't need a lot of things, we just need the ground. If we know how to farm, we can always make means to live by. It was an exciting experience and I believe it has benefits in many ways. Um, for one, it can provide food for the community, whether it's the family at home or even just selling it to the people around. And I believe it's a means to um, sustain yourself. Um, this can also be a means to do. Um, I believe um, on a personal level, uh, it's a skill that I've gained, so it can help me sustain myself. Um, I don't know what situations you face in the future. And also, you can help the community around, your age mates, and also other people. You can reach out and not just um, give things to people, but you can also give them skills so they can go and sustain themselves. Uh, to the community, to the community around us, we thought it is important that our children can go around the community that lives near us to reach them out and give out this skill also. So they can learn to they can learn to to cultivate things in their compounds instead of just putting flowers, beautiful flowers, but when they cannot bring in money, the vegetable uh, gardens, the sack gardens can bring uh, can bring in money when they sell their vegetables to their neighbors, maybe to other people who visit them. So that one can earn them some money. And also, it can also aid the eating of their families without them going to move around and buy. So the last step will be watering. For those that have not planted, are going to do the watering. As we put these garden sacks in our compounds, we intend to uh, teach and give the community quality seeds 
quality seedlings, which they can also go and plant in their, in their compounds. And guess what? We are improving lives of people around us and those who have to find when we leave school. And another, another reason why we came out with this as, as the high school finished school, we wanted to go out to the deep in the community where we can teach the vulnerable, uh, the vulnerable young people. We intend to be selling these vegetables and siblings to the parents who can afford, who want to support us, not just to give us money, but as they buy, they're supporting us. Then we are taking to that vulnerable community in the villages, in the in the urban centers who are just living, some go on the streets and then they'll be able to know what to do, maybe in their small areas. Then instead of going to spend time on the street and beg money or and go do unnecessary activities, they can spend time doing that, then they can earn a living. But also we intend to generate money to make reusable sanitary parts to the, to the young uh, the young girls in the vulnerable community. In someone's health, one has to eat vegetables on a daily basis. So that's why we are focusing on growing the leafy vegetables like lettuce, like spinach, like broccoli to help one to improve on their health and also to add more money like from sale to, to improve on their family welfare. So that's the reason why we are here and why we are training our young generation to practice urban farming in schools and also at their home where they are coming from. Our learners who are leaving school so that we can go and teach also the learner, the young community in the, in the vulnerable community, I would say, so that they can save money to buy sanitary towels every month and also they can also learn a skill. They can make them and maybe sell also to the others at a cheaper, affordable uh, cost than the central towers in the, in the market. And also in these gardens that we are planting, we also intend to, uh, to make uh, uh, some skills. Like if you plant maize, it's not a matter of getting maize, eat it and that's so, or sell it like that, but to add value. So this week we, all, we also planted a lot of maize now we harvested it and the children were making seeds and these seeds where they were frying them and then by doing that they are learning that they can add value on these seeds make them soft and then they can also be an income generating uh, activity for the families at home for their parents and for the vulnerable community who have a lot of maize but the only thing they know is just to put it on the head and move around with it and yet that is fresh, it can get spoiled quickly, but if it is dried and made in seed, it can stay for long. And as a school also, we wanted to expand the knowledge of the students and the teachers and the community around us. So that we don't only, the students not only get theory in academics without getting um, other practical skills that can sustain the communities where they come from. Why we wanted to uh, basically to train our children, give them this skill of urban farming, sack gardens, because these days land is scarce, there is scarce of land. So we want to teach the community that in that 100 by, by 50 plot that you have, your house, you can have a full garden in your compound. Put in our seat, in our hall like this. These days it is very hard to get uh, big land acres and acres to make family and then maybe also move very far but now you can live in a small place and have a complete farm in your garden. For instance you can have a, a, a chicken on the side, you can have rabbit which will help you get fertilizers for the for your sack gardens, you can have uh, vegetables to feed your chicken and then you find that you have a complete setup in your house which will bring uh, quality of life in eating and also in production.